And welcome back to episode two, guys. All right, so I just realized as well, I didn't check the actual bishop. So he is Tanaya, uh, which basically they do hate Makah, uh, and they are more about um, religion and all that type of stuff. So the only thing is, is that I did put the virtue of doubt. So I'm really hoping that we don't get a lot of fanatics and everything. But then, of course... This means that the Matriarch's relationship and I are not going to be the best. So, hopefully I'll have to, you know, I'll build him a house and everything. But hopefully it'll be something that, you know, we're not going to have to worry about him too much in the future. But, let's get to it. Um, so, we did have Gita. So, Gita is here now. Um, I'm hoping that what will happen is... Uh, Ragnar does have to go and eat. Because I was going to basically make him just finish off the mine, but maybe he could finish off the mine after he eats, which he's doing right now. That's really good. So he's going to try and fill up the bar, and I'm going to make him go and study really, really quick before bedtime, just because of that. Good old Lagatha here. Hopefully we can get another kid going in by the age of 20, because I think Ragnar is... Oh, no, they're both... Oh, yeah, they're all like 19. Oh, wait, whoa, what is that? Have sex. Oh, no. Oh no, I think, uh, I think, I think Rolo's gonna have sex with <laughs> a peasant or something. Ah, that's not good. All right, so, what we will have Ragnar learn is the Herbalist, because that'll be the next big thing, and then we he can learn this along the way, upgrade books and all that type of stuff he can learn as well. Um, and soon we're gonna get the Coal Furnace, so these two will come through. Uh, through the next caravan. The pig farm as well. Training ground is really good. Uh, so we definitely need to grab the training ground and the coal furnace and the workshop. Because once we can get a paper work workshop going um, and basically the chancery, which is nine production buildings, which will probably be soon after we get some of the mines, I think will be good. So, let's have him do that. She's educating right now, even though Gita's actually not with her. So, okay, so that's interesting. She's like, there you go. Okay, so Gita, okay, so it must have been a little bit of a bug. They were educating, but, like, they weren't fully educating there. So, it does happen sometimes. It does happen, obviously, sometimes, especially in the beginning. There's going to be a couple things. We do need to be careful of this, so... Yeah, this person is basically going to die, uh, which is fine. They're 42 years old as well, but the thing is I do need to make sure that these guys actually do eat. Yeah, so eventually, you know, someone I think can feed them and stuff, but we'll see. So I'm a bit worried Rolo's probably going to bribe a peasant. And give him, oh no, it's like, I gave this man rings and he's just like, ah, I'm just going to go have sex with someone. So, I do wonder if Gita does still sleep with, like, the mother. Usually the, the children sleep with the mother. We do need to make him a house as well, because he's going to start getting really angry in terms of his mood and stuff. Which, um... I think the biggest thing to do is obviously ensure... Oh, we need to do these mines. I almost forgot. All right, so there's one mine there. Another mine there. There we go. So we got the two mines down. So let's uh, skip through the night fully. Let me know what you guys are thinking, by the way. Like, what do you guys want to see? What do you... Uh, this is like the first time I've really done a playthrough to the point that I'm trying to obviously talk the whole way and kind of guide a little bit but also and i i will say this by the way it does annoy me that they why couldn't they make it where all three of these houses are at least aligned together why do i have to spend wood in order to do that i'm also by the way gonna do one save per day because i feel like doing two saves per day is a bit annoying it kind of sometimes makes the game glitch i've had it before where like it goes for a save and then it, the game has crashed before so yeah all right, seems like they're going to go for the morning little ritual. So this is going to be a priority build here. We're going to build this. And then the next priority builds will be, obviously, the mines. Um, it probably would be good if I did a, a warehouse in between. So that they can deliver the goods in between. Uh, it's just 
Oh, the new empire. Civilization disappears gradually. The process can last for centuries, and ordinary citizens don't notice anything until the very end. But a ruler, knowledgeable in history, must understand that only by un... What? By uniting warring kingdoms can he prevent the onset of dark ages. Norland is now at a crossroads. The church has long been unable to cope with the variety of changes its people's face frequent wars famine disease have become commonplace technologies and knowledge are not yet lost but if nothing is done they will soon disappear and with them civilization will vanish there is always hope but for that you must unite 12 norland provinces under your control either as a king of a vassal state or as leader of alliance free cities, proclaim yourself the new emperor and challenge the church's inquisition. I would love to do that. So that will definitely be a goal for sure. But wow, unifying, uh, uh, uniting 12 provinces is pretty hard, I feel, unless you have a really strong army where you can vassalize them. But overall, I feel like it's pretty hard to do. Um... Alright, so this building is going to be done, which is great. It's going to also give my peasants a place to, you know, there's like a, there's like four of them. Yeah, basically four of them that, that can't do anything. Uh, hopefully with this, they can actually get the food and maybe these other peasants will go come and feed them, which would be great. Uh, I also need to make a, I'm going to let them build these two first. And I, I didn't even realize that, wow, the iron mines actually cost 50 wood per... Oof. I did not realize that the mines cost that much. That's crazy. 50 wood? I feel like... The thing is, when I was playing, the... I didn't... Like, I didn't realize, I guess, more or less... Um, like, when I was playing the demo and stuff, some of the costs of things have gone up, or some of the costs have more or less... Uh, just have changed entirely like for example these houses these peasant houses used to not cost iron when making them you could just make them with a bunch of wood so yeah now that it's doing that it's a bit you know it's a bit different now um this building needs a manager so i will put this manager as ragnar i'll have him go do that because the thing is ragnar's currently doing this building uh he's currently doing also the lumber mill Rolo could do this building as well. Gives him something else to do. But I don't know. It's just something of like... I do want the knowledge there. I, I have the knowledge to kind of... Make them constantly learn a little bit right now. But not like crazy. I also do think I need to make another lumber mill. I might move this lumber mill a bit down. So over here. Uh, so let's see... Uh, move. Oh no, I need five wood, which is so annoying. So we also do need to make another lumber mill though, which I can't do because I need the wood. So what you can do is, is like, if you ever need the actual wood, ships the goods, ship the goods now. So you can ship the goods now. They'll ship it over, or one person will, while the other person still works. And then you can actually continue to do the building. So where is it that I needed... The wood so we would I think we should start doing some wood up here just because it's something where there's a lot of trees here but oh they are using the wood oh that's why they're using the wood for up there oh no okay that's fine it's fine it's fine but yeah we're, we're really running out of wood I also lost four peasants to starvation and they're just burning them up yeah, so that that definitely occurs. Uh, she goes to praying company. No, I, I don't. I don't want you guys praying. I want you guys educating. You don't need to pray. Come on, come on, get away from the praying. Stop it. Sometimes they can't ignore you, which is the annoying bit. Unless I wonder if I try and tell her to go study. No, but she's oh oh Lagatha and her are going on a date. That's actually perfect. Only two migrants joined us, though, which is a, a bit annoying. Young migrants, though, which is really nice. 
Alright, so now that Rolo has learned that, I will tell him to learn Scaffold. And what's cool is that you can have multiple lords learn the same thing, so you can always have the knowledge going if you can't afford to really, you know, get them doing other stuff. So the rye field. So we're going to need... So the only thing is we're going to need a better wood shop, of course. So we're going to need two wood shops. I probably should have made two wood shops in the beginning. Usually that's how it works. You do two wood shops and you kind of, you know, keep them going at the same time. But... Whoa, wait a second. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought I deleted my, my lumber mill. And I was like, where did this go? <laughs> I forgot I... That is way too funny. So, oh, by the way, as well. People don't know. Instead of having to, like, click on the building and then just... You know, you change the person's instructions there. You can actually just right click and just change who you want to actually replace the building with. It's really nice. All right, so the trader, we would talk to Ragnar. Ragnar will go and talk with him. Let's see if we can get some news. Oh, actually, no, the more important thing is workshop, coal furnace, and training gown. There we go. Pig farm is actually really important as well. So it's 508, so it's going to take out half of our income. However, it's just going to be really good. Uh, the fear of death is kind of a good one, but it's like, I don't know. Is it really worth it? Uh, 70 prices. Okay, we'll just buy these guys. So we're down to 312. So we just got to make sure that, you know, we do start to make some type of money as well. Uh, which I think we will, actually. I didn't even think about this. Let me try and go to the trader real quick. Knowledge is learned as well. Which, I think the more important one is to learn the workshop from Lagatha. At the moment, I think the coal furnace is pretty important too, but yeah. Uh, let's see what we can trade. We can trade... Mm -mm. Can't really trade much. I don't want to really give up any of these or the papers. We can give up... Uh, we're at negative... 10 with the trader anyways because the trader's at five, at seven don't really want to give up books all right we're, we'll just we won't there's nothing really we can trade anyway so we'll just keep doing that and right now currently so lagus is at four percent for studying workshop already ragnar is at 54 percent for the herbalist we do have loads and loads of berries and stuff uh, so this is going to be good because there is a lot that you can actually do with the berries in terms of making potions. If we can make potions and start selling them loads, I mean, the price of it does go down eventually. You can't just spam. That one thing is that they have tried to basically make it where you can't just spam. Um, you know, you just can't spam selling things because then the market price of that goes down, which is great because what if I just continue to spell sell loads of potions and then i'm just making bank because i could just sell potions um to the trader you know all right it's night time so we're just gonna speed through this again what is cool as well is that you can actually make it where you know, you're speeding through, and you can just do this. So, city sells wood, city buys beer, but you need to improve relationships. So, oh, you can offer one of your lords presents the head of another house. Okay, so then it would be like that, plus nine. So, obviously, this depends on your manners and stuff, or send a messenger, which is just, that's probably the easiest one, which is send a messenger or something. This one's a, a bandit camp. That's really nice. Seven bandits. All, all combat skill of five. Okay. Alright, so we will just continue that way. We'll ignore Ragnar. Oh, great. That's not good. Don't want the brothers having a fight. So yeah, we definitely need more wood. Uh, it might be good to eventually upgrade this to, to level three as well. But I'll make sure I upgrade this little bad boy to level two too. 
Oh, Ragnar put Rolo in his place. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now they definitely hate each other. Oh, I don't like... Oh, he's a fanatic. <laughs> that's why. Religious disagreements. Yeah, that's all it is. I don't I don't agree. I, I don't really like the, the whole religion thing just because it's simply... It's, it's like extremely annoying, more or less, because if you become fanatics, then it can get too religious and... But maybe in the future I will do like Templars, so, so like a Templar type of thing. Our offering suit is, isn't... Oh, uh, so the thing is, I do believe if you get married, they actually, you have to... You send them off, but the prices of them are crazy. At least you can actually see who you're marrying, though, if I'm correct. So yeah, she's 32. She's persuasive. She's reckless and difficult childbirth. Uh, so yeah, you can see that bit. Don't think there's anybody else that's actually suitable as well. I think it's literally just her. Are these guys attacking? Attacks Wind Peak. Oh, wow. Oh, these guys are no joke. These guys are fighting, like, immediately. Oh, man. That's the only thing. It's like, I don't know when to really start making an army and stuff. Because, you know, you're trying to build up your villages and all that type of stuff. But it's just something of, like, you know, when do you actually... I do need to ship this these goods. I have to keep shipping the wood so that they actually... Let me build this first. Let's priority build this first. Because the, the problem is, is the minute that I'm... Every time I'm not shipping these goods and stuff, they're not taking it to actually build these things. These They're just going to stay unbuilt. Also, there is a couple hounds nearby. So what I might do is, with Rolo, to... With Rolo. So they're going to go hunting. Nice. So they're going to go hunting and stuff. Let, let's let them... Nice. Oh, wow. That was so fast. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, there you go. Now him and Rolo are really good. They're all chill and stuff. I wonder if you could do flesh. Yeah, I don't think you can do hunting or anything like that with them. It just does a bit suck because, you know, it's a bit easy. Alright, so now, yeah, see, now I think this guy, is he taking, oh no, he's taking the goods here, so the peasants can eat. So now everybody's kind of good. Uh, we will point this to, uh, I feel like just doing Ragnar, just simply because it's easy. It's like one of those things. Oh, yes, are they going to go and try and make love? Perfect. I definitely need them to make love and hopefully we can have Bjorn, so they can kind of be at a close age. Let's see. Oh, come on. No, she's definitely... They usually don't get pregnant, like, again immediately, but it is what it is. So... So, wages are minus 100. But we're just... So, in stock is that and everything. We just need more people to come and hang out at the tavern. Which is just a bit annoying. Uh, let's get Ragnar to go and trade real quick. see is there any i can't really buy any of these oh this is really really good once becoming loyalists characters will remain forever loyal that's always really good i don't think i actually need any type of slaves or anything i need actually to give people jobs so um and then we're gonna need wood eventually oh man see this is the part where i messed up last time in my like little playthroughs i had before was oh pretended not to hear Gi oh gosh she's gonna be like oh my mom doesn't love me yep i'm being neglected i do it i do it um so yeah this is like the part where i messed up last time i didn't make two lumber mills and then what ended up happening was like i was constantly behind on trying to make buildings and then eventually it like bit me in the ass because i had so many people not working you know all this type of stuff and it was just like 
constant annoying bulk up. <laughs> uh, let's do the coal furnace. Uh, yeah, let's do the coal furnace. Because that's a bit important. And then training ground will be next. At least Wagner's learning. Rolo's still hard at work. Or hard at reading as well. So doing the scaffold. The scaffold's actually not that important. The scaffold's usually only really important when you start having like at least a population of like 50 to 60 and then you're having certain things happening like you're not having good happiness so then you can get bandits and people that are trying to do crimes and all this type of stuff all right we're gonna skip through this again Nothing really important ever happens at night unless you really do have like crime and bandits and all that type of stuff. Usually then, you know, you're sitting there watching the patrols to see if they'll stop someone. And it's pretty cool whenever your warriors are starting to fight people. Oh, wow. Lagatha just went to sleep. What was she doing? That's crazy. So I do, I do think... I wonder what they consider years. Do they consider days years? Be or like every two days is a year? Because Ragnar is now 20 and it's day 5, right? I need to see when his next type of age up is. Because I do wonder about the whole longevity thing. I think that longevity of like, if every two days is a year, then it means every, f what is it? When you do the longevity, it said it was every 10 years that they age up so that means like every five day uh, is that five days no i think it's every 20 days they'd age up once oh that's that's actually pretty long but i don't know i do i am very curious to how that will work uh let's see so these guys are hard at work here doing the wood no let's speed this down a bit so yeah, the, uh, the biggest thing is, is really getting... Oh, do we have one? Oh, we do have a loyalist. Where's this loyalist? I want to see him. Where's the loyalist? No way, are you a loyalist? He's a loyalist. My god, you're a loyalist. I love it. Oh, your beard's covering the little crown. Usually they wear a little crown and stuff when they're doing it. But loyalists, they do increase the product productivity by 30%, which is huge, honestly. So yeah, I'm going to start getting a lot more wood now as well. Uh, we'll do Loyalists, and then, you know, obviously, you know, it is what it is. What we will do is, is we'll ship the goods as well, so that they can, I can upgrade this. Or actually, I'll finish building that, and then we'll upgrade as well, just to get more people some work. We are getting iron as well, which is nice. We probably do need to do, like, a little warehouse maybe about in the middle here just so that they could deliver the goods from there that's the only real annoying bit is when enemy is plotting oh, fucking great that's not good at all like that, that's the only thing about certain things when people are plotting and they're angry so they have 10 warriors oh it, it's okay I believe it said Star... Is it... I think it's it said Stardale, right? I don't know. It said one of those two. One of these two people <laughs> that are angry at me. Alright, so Training Ground can be learned by Rolo. Or actually, I'll have Rolo learn Combat. Why not? Just in case. Rolo actually has Command Level 3 already. I didn't even notice. That's really, really good. Usually, that's what that means. Like, they, they have the... Um, the training already done or the knowledge of that the one thing is i don't know yet if if that's how it is before or have they changed it where like if your leader dies then the knowledge every knowledge that he learned goes with him as well because oh, this needs to be appointed by ragnar as well uh yeah, we're about to, the work, work day's about to end anyway, so don't really need to. Oh, they're going on a date today as well. Nice, let's go. We got one migrant coming in. So, so what's kind of cool is you can kind of hover over this. You can hold it, 
and then you can eventually like read certain things and they've added more pictures and stuff as well so the average mood is what kind of gets more migrants to come over to your city which funny enough the average mood is 39 which is pretty abysmal funny <laughs> it's like that's actually really bad that oh they're using the iron to actually make these huts so what i will do is i need to actually make a lord's house i almost forgot and we're gonna put build this first so that's gonna be something important to build tomorrow because they already have this done uh and that'll be fine so ragnar and lagatha are making love hopefully they can make bjorn come on bjorn needs to come on just because if i have another daughter i don't know actually what i'm gonna do because I need to have a son, do you know what I mean? I need to have... I had, like, Ragnar in the show had, like, four sons. Yes! Okay, she's pregnant again. Come on, she's pregnant. Okay, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. We've did it. We did it. We've gotten her pregnant, boys. We've did it again. Oh, I do need to go talk to the trader, maybe. Oh, really? You're greeting my... I have to go trade, man. I don't know what I would really sell him. I probably could sell him some Rudabug. I'll sell him some Rudabug. Okay, so we've already go gone over the saturation amount, which is 100. So we'll just do that. We'll trade that. I mean, it's some gold, but it, you know what I mean? I got trade up as well. I got the trade level up, which is nice. Had a meaningful conversation. Nice. Full of energy. Delicious meat. Beautiful. Alright, so Lagatha's studying. So Lagatha's almost done with the workshop. Cold Furnace is almost done. And then combat level. Uh, oh, I didn't actually see... Oh, is he going to leave? Is Ragnar going to be able to catch him? No, Ragnar's not going to be able to catch him. Damn it. I didn't actually get to see if he had any books. But I don't think I can really afford anything either. Because I would like to do it where I can. Oh, yes. I need the herbs. I need the herbs. Oh, whoa. I don't even know the temple, though. What are you guys doing? Eat compl Rolo compliments you, and then Ragnar just ridicules Rolo. What is, what's wrong with these two? These guys, like... Oh, they might get into a drunken brawl at this point. I know the bishop's probably freaking fuming at the fact that he doesn't have... Oh, they changed the inventory for the bishop. Okay. If you guys... Okay, you guys obviously... Unless you used to play in the demo and all that type of stuff as well. Ooh, wait. Pig farm. Might actually be pretty important to learn. Because then they just... She, they just take the rutabug. And then they I can make... I can feed the pigs and I can get meat. <gasps> and then if I can get meat all the time... Oh, yeah. Let's go. We're going to do it. Uh, which also reminds me, let's see, because the only problem is wood. Again, everything is wood. Now I'm messing up and, and not having enough wood, which is horrible. When statistics say I've always cut, that, which this wasn't here before either, 2%. So, okay, like I was going to say, the bishop used to be really, really hardcore. He actually used to have an axe, which... In regards to the axe, it was basically right before swords. Like, that's how strong it was. So sometimes you'd have a situation where, you know, the bishop's like, oh, I hate the king. And then they try and, like, my first little playthrough I had, uh, he rebelled against me and was like, dude, you know, basically he was like, I'm going to, you know, start a revolt and we're going to, you know, kill you and stuff. So... You know, he started a revolt and I couldn't fight him or I tried to duel him, but he has an axe. I can't kill him if he has an axe. Do you know what I mean? It's it's crazy because that's it's like it's a strong weapon, you know? So, yeah. Oh, wait, what? He was like, oh, did he fall asleep? He just looked like he was thinking that he was going to die of like starvation. So, yeah, it was pretty intense, honestly. Um, and I just I couldn't bear with it. Well, anyways, guys, this is going to be... Let's just pause it here. So right now, this is the end of episode two. 
in regards to, you know, Ragnar and his family. We still have Gita. Lagatha is pregnant again. Let's really, really hope that this time around she does uh, at least give us Bjorn because Bjorn will be the new king. Um, and then hopefully maybe she can get pregnant again and we'll have... I do want to do Bjorn and Ivar just because even though Uba would be really good to do, I feel like Ivar, everybody would love to see Ivar. But yeah, you know, I think it's just something... Uh, We'll try and we'll try and grab we'll try and see what happens really with how many kids even Lakatha can have. Um however, at the same time, so we're building the Lord's house for the bishop, uh, so he can not be homeless and stuff. Uh we are gonna try and make sure we can really fix the whole wood situation. I do wonder when I'm actually gonna get so they do to give us tribute in three day in one day, which is really nice because I do need that extra wood. Um and then we're working on iron, and eventually we're going to start working on little chanceries. Maybe a chancery over here so that it can really focus on all these buildings and stuff. It'll be really, really good. Also, it does help out when it comes to the lords, uh, more or less with management, with their management skills. It really does help out, too. And we got to try and improve the average uh, mood and see if we can also try and start producing better beer uh, if we can. Uh, in terms of like getting rye and, and all that type of stuff as well. Start getting some extra fields down here. Um, and it'll, we'll definitely get some more workers and stuff going. So anyways, guys, I will see you in episode three. Have a good one. And uh, let me know what you guys think again. I know I'm going to be posting some of these videos out. And I'm going to be reading the comments uh, below. But like, again, if you want to see my face while I'm doing these videos or anything like that, I'm going to try and get out about like four videos before I just, you know, kind of maybe take a little bit of a halt. So I will see you guys. Peace and uh, catch you in episode three.